Well, howdy friends. Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another episode in our fly casting series. Today, I want to take just a quick minute of your time and talk about the timing of the fly cast, a very, very important aspect. You know, we've touched on this a little bit. We've talked about creep and coming forward too soon. But fly casting is very rhythmic. There's a tempo to it. It has a timing just like a song does. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And this is really kind of based on how much line you have out. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. But it's important to understand some of these concepts, okay? And essentially, when you make your upcast, okay, you're gonna take that rod, as we know, from approximately 10 o'clock to one o'clock, a 90 degree angle, and you're going to stop the rod at the one o'clock position. And yes, I mean literally stop. We get a lot of people that don't stop. They just wave the rod kind of in perpetual motion. And this is a really big problem, especially for beginning fly casters. You must stop and pause and let the line unravel. Now, in fact, I think this is a perfect time uh, to change the name of this series. I don't want you to think of this as fly casting anymore because that brings up subconscious, conjures up ideas of throwing something, and it's really line unrolling. That's what we're going to call this series from now on. It's called the line unrolling series because that's what happens. When you stop the rod, you stop the rod at one o'clock, the line is gonna unroll behind you and you have to allow it to happen. You have to stop and pause and let that line unroll, okay? Now, if you let it unroll completely, what happens? If you let it straighten out completely, the energy, realize, has gone through your rod, through the line, through the leader, through the rear end of the fly and it's gone. The potential energy that you've built up in your fly rod leaves the system and you'll see that. The loop straightens out, the energy goes away, the loop falls, the rod goes limp. It goes from loaded or full of juicy potential energy to unloaded nothing, okay? So in other words, you don't want to wait too long. You need to begin the rod gradually moving forward, slowly taking it forward like an airplane coming in for a landing while the rod is still loaded with potential energy, okay? Now, we've talked about this before, but if you come forward too soon, that's more likely what's gonna happen. If you come forward too soon or creep, you're gonna hear this. Snap, crackle, pop. As a retailer of fishing flies, that's music to my ears because you just whipped off a $2, $4, $6 fly. But as a fly casting, excuse me, a line unrolling instructor, you don't wanna do that. If you hear that snap, crackle, pop, you've come forward too soon, okay? Another indicator is this. If it doesn't straighten out behind you, if it doesn't at least stretch a little bit, it's not gonna straighten out in front of you. So if you're piling your cast up in front of you, you're probably not letting it stretch and add to that potential energy. But remember, don't let it straighten out far enough that that potential energy goes away, okay? So the fly casting is very rhythmic. There's a tempo to it. If it's a short cast, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. If it's a longer cast, it might be one, two, three, four. A little bit longer pause, because it takes that line longer to straighten out. So don't wait so long that you lose that potential energy in the rod, and don't come forward too soon where you whip off a fly and you'll never get a cast to straighten out. So, 
Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe to our channel, don't miss an episode in our line unrolling series, and we appreciate you being here as always. If you like this video, hit subscribe, it helps out a lot. And check out these videos, we think you might like them too.